Offshore wind could make it easier for Russia to attack a U.S. ally. That's the position some government officials in Sweden are taking. They fear constructing 13 planned offshore wind farms along their nation's coast will make them more vulnerable to a missile attack. Wind farms have been known to interfere with radar signals, reducing the quality of the information they provide, and in some cases, blocking out parts of the sky. This is why Sweden moved last week to officially block the development of those renewable energy projects, which would have been in close proximity to Russia's heavily militized Kaliningrad territory. The decision being made over concerns this offshore infrastructure will hamper their response time to any potential foreign aggression from Moscow. Sweden's defense minister believes the turbines would decrease how long they'd have to prepare for a hypothetical incoming Russian missile strike, from two minutes to just 60 seconds. Both the British and French ministries of defense have also raised similar objections to offshore wind developments for the same reasons. However, this won't mean a total ban on offshore wind projects in Sweden. The country approved a new 81-turbine wind farm off its eastern, ally-facing coast, expected to be completed in 2031, Experts say it could provide enough energy to power one million households. To get more stories about renewable energy and the potential concerns surrounding them, download the Straight Air News app and sign up for alerts from me, Jack Almer.